So good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today with uh, engineer uh, uh, Prudvi Shankar, uh, who has just um, defended his master thesis um, uh, inside our specializing master uh, contract claim in delay management in construction work works. Uh, his thesis is titled um, Application of Appropriate Delay Analysis Methodology, methodology to Seek uh, Extension of, uh, of Time in a Power Plant Project Due to Delays Caused by Suez Canal Blockade in 2021. And uh, we are with him today to know something about uh, his experience uh, in this specializing master. Perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Fancy. Uh, myself, Prithvi Shankar. I am a construction professional with over seven years of experience. And I started this course in 2020 back. And I have been really fortunate to have got this opportunity through Polymy. And uh, I came into this course as any other planning engineer of construction professional, but I am completing this and exiting this course with a proud feeling that I am no more just a planning engineer, but also a planning engineer who knows about contracts, about claims, about a little bit about law and all the other guiding factors in a construction project. And all of this credit goes to the complete structure and the curriculum that is covered under this master's course offered by Polymy. And I'm really grateful for all the professors who are a part of this. Now, how I have made sure that the learnings from this course are included in my particular job is that with every different topic that was covered through this particular course, I was able to relate it to my ongoing project. Mm -hmm. And I partic and presently I'm associated with an EPC project for a very huge value of around 780 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. So every aspect of the learning from this particular course and subject, I was able to take some guidance and help from this course in my present day-to-day -day activities and in my project. So the same goes through my case study and my final thesis, wherein in the project, we had to submit this extension of time in order to be relieved from the liquidated damages and the course particularly helped me in guiding and taking the exact steps and the proper procedural norms to be followed to put up a final thesis. Uh -huh. And like Mr. Fanchi has given introduction, the <laughs> uh, application of this appropriate delay analysis, this is my final thesis that I have defended successfully today. Thank you. Thank you. Th thank you very much. Uh, uh, it, it's. Uh... Uh, really, I'm uh, really glad to hear what what you are saying because uh, you know it's the, the the goal of this specializing master to to provide uh, uh, you with uh, professional tools that uh, should be um, uh, useful right away in your professional life. Uh, and so uh, uh, the feedback that it's actually happening uh, is something uh, that. I, I cannot be but uh, extremely uh, glad, uh, glad about. Um, now, uh, I think that your, uh, uh, the, the, the job that you, are, you have done with your master thesis um, is uh, really, really interesting. Uh, uh, could you just go through uh, five, six uh, slides that you think are uh, particularly interesting about your, your, your thesis? Sure. Uh, I would like to just uh, take you quickly through the... <clears throat> okay, so if you can go through this main slide, it gives a very whole summary of what actually happened and mm -hmm. how the events transpired. And this is the schedule of the vessel and which was impacted due to the Suez Canal blockade here and how its estimated time of arrival was impacted to, and it was delayed and how it impacted the other works. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, a tabulation of what actually happened, a plan versus actual, wherein we compare what was the actual planned critical path or planned baseline schedule. And against that, we measure what actually happened and mm -hmm. we impact different uh, delay events and we see the final impact here. I think, I think this, uh, this slide is uh, really extremely interesting. Uh, because uh, you see there are uh, 
three events that caused uh, 70 days of delays. One, uh, of course, the, the, the blockage of uh, the, the Swiss Canal, which was the first one, uh, which probably also uh, affected the, 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 the second one, uh, which was, of course, the first major event. The, then uh, a governmental risk, uh, which was clearly out of your control. And, and then, uh, of course, also uh, bad weather, which, of course, it's out of anyone's control. Uh, uh, but but uh, uh, the two last line, uh, you see that you go from 70 days of delays to back to 24 days of delays. So even if uh, you had to face uh, three uh, events that were out of your control, you, you were able to then uh, right. uh, decrease the delays from 70 to 24 days. So uh, that's, that's, that's uh, uh, really so a, a, great, a great job on your part. Correct. So this shows how well the EPC actually adhered to all the contractual obligations. Even though we had delay events, we made sure that from a contractor's point of view, we have to fast track certain things and accelerate in order to mitigate the risk and the impact of the delays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Then going through the extension of time analysis, I can take you through how, yes, this is a very interesting slide wherein a schedule from the P6, that is Primavera 6, has been made use of. So first what we do is we use the unaffected, unimpacted schedule, mm -hmm. which is with the progress updates and we build a fragment and we model these fragment with the delay events into this unimpacted schedule. And we logic link these models into the activities and critical path which it impacted. Mm -hmm. And then we reschedule it. Mm -hmm. So the actual impact of these delay events is seen on the final completion and what is the final probable final output mm -hmm. is observed here. So this is how we do for every window or every month of the uh, analysis. <laughs> and once we have that analysis, we tabulate the calculations. And uh, from each month, we calculate the total and the cumulative impact on the final milestone or the final completion until the end of the delay event. This is, again, a delay propagation summary, which is a detailed breakdown of how the calculations have been made from the delay analysis. This is an easy representation for those who cannot follow the schedule. Not necessarily everybody may be able to follow P6 or Primavera schedule. So for them, this is an easy understanding. And for those who would like to follow through a time scale basis, this is the planned time scale, which is represented in blue against the critical path which was impacted and how it was impacted, which is represented in red. Mm -hmm. So we have both the planned baseline time scale and the impacted time scale. Mm -hmm. And we can see in the end, the cumulative impact. Mm -hmm. And okay. then we have some uh, recommendations. <laughs> yeah, thank okay. you. Thank you, uh, uh, it's really, really interesting. Uh, and uh, um, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, I, I really hope uh, that uh, all the information and all the tools uh, that uh, you received uh, following the specializing master uh, might go on to be useful for your uh, professional career also, also in the future. Definitely. I have uh, made sure to download all of the study material from the Polymy and it has been of great use uh, for all my references. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, bye. Thank bye you, bye. Mr. Franchi. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.